In this video, you're going to learn best practices for editing awesome vertical video for Instagram TV. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Premiere Gal. If you guys are new here, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you're notified when I make new video editing and production tutorials every week. So in this video, what are the tips for vertical video? So when you're editing your videos, you may be working in the standard landscape high definition format or even 4K high definition format. And so how do you edit those to be in the vertical frame? I'm gonna go over how to do that in Premiere Pro shortly. But if you're filming new video for vertical videos, I'd recommend getting this Joby GorillaPod. It's a mobile rig. So it's awesome because it comes with an adapter where you can put your mobile phone in it and record vertically from the start. So that way you don't need to worry about cropping or adapting the landscape footage. And if you're a vlogger, it's great because it has these arms. Kind of makes it look like a little human. They call it the little GorillaPod monster. You can add a microphone here or a light as well so that way when you're walking around and vlogging you can be filming in the vertical format with a light or a mic here which is super awesome you can also hand it to somebody else of course and reverse so that way you're filming from the back camera on this iPhone and then they can film you as well so I'd recommend this and I'll put a link in the description box below but let's go ahead and jump into Premiere Pro and I'll show you some of the tips such as how to set up your sequence um, editing down the footage scaling it adding images behind adding text to your vertical videos and then the best settings for exporting and then getting it on your mobile phone to upload all right, let's jump in. All right, so here we are in Premiere Pro, and before we get started, just so you guys are aware, I've left a time-coded breakdown of everything I cover in this tutorial in the description box below. So if you're looking for specific information, you can click on that time code to skip ahead. So the first step to editing vertical video is setting up the sequence settings. The aspect ratio for IGTV vertical video is nine by 16. So to give you perspective on this, the landscape format, such as normal high definition and 4K resolutions is 16 by nine. So literally the vertical video is just flipping it 90 degrees. So let's make a few sequence presets that you can use depending on the source video you are working with. So go to new item from the project panel and select sequence. You can start from pretty much any HD preset here since we are going to make customizations to them from the setting tab. I'm going to choose the digital SLR 1080p 30 frames per second preset to start. And it's important to note that Instagram TV requires a minimum frame rate of 30 frames per second. So that's why I'm not choosing 24 frames per second. So now that we selected this, let's go to the settings tab and let's customize. To start, we need to flip this frame size to be nine by 16 aspect ratio. So to do that, we just need to switch these numbers. So let's make 1920 here, 1080. And let's make this 1080 vertical 1920. So now we have the nine by 16 format as it indicates here. But with this resolution, if you are adapting HD footage, which is 1920 by 1080 pixels into this new aspect ratio, you're going to have to scale the new footage to fit the new height of the vertical, which is 1920. So remember this original footage has a vertical height of 1080. So we're going to lose resolution when we scale up and we don't want that because then the footage starts to look pixelated and not good. So instead of doing that, you can actually cut this frame size in half doing a basic math equation here. So let's divide 1080 by two using the slash symbol and it automatically makes it 540. Then let's do the same with the vertical. Let's divide 1920 by two and we get 960. So the frame size is smaller, which is fine. All we want is the aspect ratio to be nine by 16, which is one of IGTV's requirements. Now we can save this preset. Let's save it as IGTV vertical. And then in parentheses, I'll just put for HD landscape video adaptation. And in the description here, you can add in some more detail. I'll just put the frame size. I'll put 540 by 960 and I'll put 30 frames per second. Let's say you're working with 4K footage, not HD footage. We can make another vertical nine by 16 preset that works for that using a bigger frame size. So again, let's start with the DSLR 1080p 30 frames per second. 
then from settings, we're just going to flip these values. So we're going to make 1920, 1080, and 1080, 1920. And we are not going to cut this in half because 4K footage has more pixel information to work with. 4K footage is two times the line resolution of HD 1080p. It has a vertical frame size of 2,160 pixels, which is more than 1920, which is our current vertical frame here. So because it's more than that, we do not have to scale up the footage to resize it. Thus, we don't have to worry about our resolution getting distorted and no pixelation will happen. So we can also save this preset as well. I'm just going to call it IGTV Vertical 4K Landscape Video Adaptation. Now, another option is if you shoot vertically from your phone. Remember when I showed you in the intro, I was holding the Joby mobile rig and I was shooting vertically on my iPhone. Now, shooting vertically is by far the easiest method to create your vertical sequence because it shoots, at least in my iPhone, it shoots at a 1080 by 1920 resolution, which is already the nine by 16 format. So rather than creating a custom preset in this case, what you're going to do is import your vertical video into your project panel like I have here. I have a vertical video recording of Premiere Pup and you can right click on this vertical video and just choose new sequence from clip. And this will automatically create a new sequence based on the clip format itself. And if you wanna check, you can right click on the sequence and go to sequence settings and it will show you that the frame size is 1080 by 1920 and it's a nine by 16 aspect ratio. So that's all for presets. Now let's show you a few cool editing strategies for vertical video. Let's first create a new sequence for IGTV vertical presets for HD video. And you can see I have here a bin full of HD stock video, which I got from Envato Elements. So I'm going to open up that bin and change it to an icon view. So next I'm going to choose in and out points for my clips to decide which parts of these clips I actually want to bring in my timeline. So just double click on the clip and it will open up in the source panel. And here I can press I to set an in point and O for an out point. So after I set all of my in and outs on all these clips, I'm going to rearrange these clips in the order that I want them to be in the timeline. So since I want this mountain shot to be the establishing shot, I'm gonna move this to be the first clip. And then I'm going to have the hiker on the ground. Then I'll move to the shot of the hiker on the higher mountain. And then last, I want the hiker near the ocean. So now I can hit Command A to select all of these and I can drag them into my timeline. And the first thing that you will get is a notification to either keep the existing settings or change them. So you're going to select keep existing settings because you don't want it to revert back to the landscape sequence format. So then the clips you will see are laid out sequentially in the order that we decided. So then we can go to effects controls and you can change the position of the clips so it's showing the part of the video that you want to use most. So for this first shot, let's select the motion tools and then we can move the clip however we want here just by moving it in the program panel until we see the part of the image that we want. So I wanna see all of the mountain on the left here. Then with the guy walking, it's almost perfect because he's already perfectly in the center of the frame. So I'm not going to touch that. And then I want to move to the mountain shot here with the hiker. So I just want to move this over so it's more noticeable to see the hiker walking. And then for the last shot, let's move this in place so that way we see the female hiker here better in frame. So this is a pretty standard way of editing. You're just gonna drag them into the sequence based on the order that you want. And then you just adjust the position so that way it's better in frame. And you can see that the resolution's great. We didn't have to scale it or reduce it, right? But what if you wanna have multiple shots in one frame? Kind of like a split screen, but for vertical video. So for example, let's stack all three of these hiking clips on top of each other. And what I wanna do is scale them down and reposition them so that way all three of them are playing at once. But I don't know if they're all equally aligned. So what I did is I made several split screen guide templates in Photoshop that you can download below. And the one that we want for this is the one that's 540 by 960 and divided into three sections. So after you download it, you're gonna to go to your central graphics panel and go to edit tab 
and select import from file and you're going to import that PNG file and place it on top of the footage. And now with this guide here, you can use the motion controls and reposition them so that the three videos are playing equally divided up into our frame. And then you can turn off this graphic layer. And if you want to, this is completely optional, but it's super cool. You can actually save this graphic as a template in Premiere Pro to use in future vertical videos. So just right click on it and select export as motion graphics template, then give it a name. So this one would be 540 by 960 vertical three split screen or something like that. And then save it to your local templates folder. And then you can go to the browse tab of your essential graphics panel and search for it. And then here it is, and it will be here forever. And you can drag it into your future vertical timelines. You can do the same with a two video split as well. So this time let's make a new video sequence for 4K footage using the preset that we created at the beginning of this tutorial. So here I have a bin of 4K stock video and I want this video of the surfer and the water here, sort of an aerial shot of this water, I want them to play on top of each other as a two video split screen. So I'm going to drag both of them into the sequence and stack them on top of each other. Now from the edit tab, I'm going to import my 1080 by 1920 vertical two split screen template and place it on top of the footage. Then I'm going to scale and reposition the clips so they align perfectly in frame. And then of course you can also export this motion graphics template so you can access this in your essential graphics panel for future use. And then I'm going to use some motion graphics templates here to add some text on top of my video. You can certainly make your own text in Premiere Pro, but I really like using a lot of typography pack templates from Envato Market. These titles are a lot more dynamic and interesting because they were designed in After Effects, not Premiere Pro. So I'm going to drag this one title template into my timeline. And then from the edit tab, I'm going to customize the content. I'm also going to update the colors until it matches what I want for this video. So let's render it out and you can see that it looks nice and dynamic and you could use this text for any type of video. It could be for your next vertical video as well. So I'll link to other title packs that I would recommend for vertical video in my description box below. So now let's go on to best export settings for IGTV. So what's really important to note before we export, if you're a smaller Instagram user and you have an unverified account, you can only upload videos to IGTV that are between 15 seconds and 10 minutes in length. You cannot upload anything longer than 10 minutes, but if you're verified and you're a bigger account, you can upload between 15 and one hour or 60 minutes in duration. And another important thing to note is if you're uploading a larger 60 minute video, Instagram is saying that you must upload this file from a computer desktop, not from the mobile app itself. So since this is just a demo, I have a smaller video here. Let's just export what we have here. So I'm going to go to file, export, and then media. And from format, we have to choose an MP4 format. So choose H.264 codec for MP4. And then let's choose the preset match source high bit rate. And all this preset is doing is matching the settings from your sequence settings, which is what we want. Then you can click here to give it a new name and save it to a particular folder on your hard drive. And then at the bottom here is where it will give you an estimated file size based on the presets we chose here. So because our video is fairly short in length, the file size will already be a lot smaller than let's say a 10 minute video, right? But there are some max file sizes that you should know about. So Instagram has a maximum file size for videos less than 10 minutes, which is 650 megabytes. And the maximum file size for videos that go up to 60 minutes is 3.6 gigabytes. So if you have just a 10 minute video or a nine minute video and it's over 650 megabytes, you can change this file size by going to the video tab here and you can scrub down to where it gives you the target bit rate. And you can reduce this target bit rate to reduce the file size. So right now it's 10 megabytes as my target bit rate. If I was going to lower that to eight, 
then you can see that the estimated file size was reduced. I wouldn't recommend going below five, and then you can play around with different target bit rates until you get it below 650 megabytes, or if you're doing a 60 minute video below 3.6 gigabytes. Now let's just hit export, and once it's done exporting, you're ready to upload. So you can upload from your mobile app. You can just send the video to your mobile phone. If you're on a Mac, you can send it via AirDrop to your iPhone, or you can send it via Slack or Google Drive if you're on a PC Android setup. But you can now upload from your desktop. So just go to Instagram.com and you can log in on your desktop. And from your profile page, you can click on the tab that says IGTV, and then you can upload the clip. And then you just drag and drop your exported file here into this drag and drop zone, and it will start to upload. And here's where you're going to give your video a title and a description. So I'd recommend just a short title, something that is short and sweet that encompasses what your video is about. And then in your description, I'm not sure how the IGTV algorithm exactly works, but I would only limit it to maybe like a few sentences and probably include some top keywords in there. So if you just go to Google and you search your topic, just pick out five of the top keywords that you see when you do your search and then include those in the description. Then here you can upload a custom cover photo for this video. And a cover photo is just like a thumbnail on YouTube. So the recommended size for cover photos is 420 pixels by 654 pixels, and it must be in a JPEG format. And just to note, right now you can't edit your cover photo after you upload it. So you're basically stuck with this cover photo and you cannot edit it after you upload it. So to help you guys, here in Photoshop, I've actually created a five pack of custom Instagram photo templates, which you can buy from my store and customize. And I've linked to the pack below. So here is one of the first templates here. I'm just going to update the text here in Photoshop. I'm going to alter the border colors from the layers panel. And I'm also going to change the color of the play button as well as the subtitle text color. Then I'm going to go to File, Export, Export As, and change the file type to a .jpg. And then back at Instagram.com, I'm just going to choose that file that I just exported. And then you can click Post or save it as a draft that you can publish later on. So that's all there is to editing awesome vertical videos for the new Instagram TV. And don't forget to check out the new Joby mobile rig for shooting vertical videos with your mobile phone. If you guys have any questions at all, be sure to leave a comment below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell. And lastly, be sure to check out my latest giveaways at premiergal.com slash giveaways and join my Patreon community at patreon.com slash premiergal. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.